In this video, I'm going to look at how we convert between our area units. Now, the different units that we have in area include one squared millimetre, one square centimetre, one square metre, one hectare, and one square kilometre. So to do this, let's have a look at what sort of units are involved in some of these. So one square centimetre, for example, is one centimetre by one centimetre in a square. We can look at that in millimetres as that being 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres. Now, when we multiply that out, this is equal to 100 squared millimetres. In one meter squared, that's a one meter by one meter, or a hundred centimeters by a hundred centimeters. So one squared millimeter is going to be equal to 10,000 square centimeters. In one hectare, now one hectare is 100 meters by 100 meters. So the number of square metres in a hectare is equal to 10,000. And in one square kilometre, that's going to be 1,000 metres by 1,000 metres. So in one square kilometre, there's 1 million square metres. Which, if we look at how many hectares go into 1,000 square metres, it's equal to 100 hectares. Now, I'm going to use this information to create a conversion chart that we can use to convert between our different area units. Now, if I want to convert between square kilometres and hectares, I look at how many hectares there are in a square kilometre, which in this case is 100. So to convert that, I would need to multiply by 100. Now, if I wanted to go from hectares back to kilometres, I'd need to do the opposite. So instead of multiplying, I'd need to divide. Now, between hectares and square metres, we look at how many square metres there are in a hectare. In this case, there's 10,000. To convert there, I would need to multiply by 10,000. To move from square metres back to hectares, I need to do the opposite, so divide by 10,000. Now, from square metres to centimetres, I look at how many square centimetres there are in a square metre. In this case, there's 10,000. So, to move from square metres to square centimetres, I need to multiply by 10,000. And to get back, I need to do the opposite, so divide by 10,000. To move from square centimetres to square millimetres, I need to look at how many square millimetres there are in a square centimetre. In this case, one square centimetre is 100 square millimetres, so I'd need to multiply by 100. And to convert back, I'd need to do the opposite, so that'd be divide by 100. So now I've got my conversion chart, let's look at how we use this conversion chart to convert between different area units. So let's say I wanted to convert 350 square millimetres to square centimetres. Well, to do that, I look at where do I start, which is my square millimetres, and where do I need to go to, which is my square centimetres. To get there, I need to divide my units by 100. So this will be equal to 350 square centimetres, uh, millimetres, divided by 100 which will give me 3.5 square centimetres. But what if I wanted to convert 3.5 hectares into square metres? Well, I look at where my hectare units are in my conversion chart, which is here. I look at how do I get to square metres. In this case, I'd need to multiply by 10,000. So I take my 3.5 hectares and multiply this value by 10,000, which will give me 35,000 square metres. So, to summarise, to convert area units, we can use this conversion chart here 
to help move between all these different units. To use it, we need to look at what units is our measurement currently in, in this case it was square millimetres, and look at where we want to move it to. In this case, we want to move it to square centimetres. And we follow the arrows and do what it tells us to do. In this case, it was to divide by 100. 